So the carding machine, basically, years ago, they had the hand, two hand cards. And as you comb the fiber out, it runs in opposite directions. So the carding machine does this, would do the same thing. Workers and strippers, wires are in the opposite directions, and as it goes over the fiber, it'll comb that out. Polyester, which I have here, gets run through a picking machine first, which is basically just a shredding machine. Pulls the fiber apart, so we run polyester, wool, alpaca, whatever I'm running, has to get run through the picking machine first, which a lot of people think even with used wool, they said it's the quilt in pieces. I said it doesn't hurt because it has to get all pulled apart anyway. So once it's run through the picking machine, weigh it up on the scale there, and then we'll be running it through the carding machine. So some people will want different weights, thicknesses of bats, so that's how I can control that by, if you want a two pound twin, like it's gonna be the average weight. People want a two and a half or three pound, just a thicker one, just put more fiber in and it'll be a thicker bat when it's finished. So this is how I get the polyester in here, it comes in 600 pound bales. So we'll run it through the picking machine, shredding machine first. Basically, all the picking machine does is just shred the fiber. Once I have my door shut, it's not going like snow. Up. But as you can see, it coming through the picking machine, they're just pulling the fiber apart. And that'll be done by either wool polyester or a pack of the same process. Good guess. So, box weighs two pounds and two pounds of polyester in there. So, we'll start the carding machine up, put it in the back hopper, and run it through. So, if you want to come back, I can I can show you it's dumped in. put it in the back hopper of the carding machine, which is the new part of the carding machine. The feeds here were put on in the early 1900s, but this will grab the fiber, carry it up, wait, we'll drop it down into the next apron that pulls it into the carding machine. And you'll be able to see it drop down into the next layer. Get it started on the drum. And just like a spider web, each layer will keep on building up on the drum until you get your finished batting out. You can make different size of bats by just stretching it out on the carding table and by putting more fiber in there also. If we want to make a larger bat, like the king size drum over there, we'll put that on. That'll make the that longer and then you can stretch it out wider also for king size or the wood lasts will go on for queen size and as old as the machines are once the bats get started they pretty much run by themselves this will probably take six seven minutes to get the finished batting out a lot of people come in they said the remarkable how quiet actually the machines are for as old as they are it's a lot of people's first comment when they do come in here. But originally, the line shaft ran over the top of me here, leather belts coming down, and then over connected to the machines to run them. But if you look how unique, how they took time to make the machines years ago, it was more of an art. You can see Compared to today, we mass manufacture everything and it 
can see the date on the back of there also, 1897. That bed is all finished, so we just cut it. And then stretch it on out on the table. And this will be a twin size bed all ready to customer to pick up and put the cover on and then they will tie it 16 inches apart and all set for a nice warm quilt.